Welcome back. In this video, we are going to go through some elements of the custom production of your video. And to do that, we're going to go to the share menu, and then we're going to go to custom production. And then we're going to click new custom production, and that's going to open up the production wizard. So you'll notice at the very top, you have an MP4 smart player video. Of course, if we don't want to use a smart player, again, if we don't want to use a smart player, we can use one of the presets. But this is going to be an MP4 inside of a smart player with the HTML and all the coding, which will allow us to have all the elements with our videos, such as interactive hotspots, surveys, quizzes, markers for table of contents, and all of those other factors. So in each one of these cases, you'll be able to produce your video as a Windows Media file, an AVI file, if you wanted to produce a GIF and you had a short video, you could actually produce a GIF with Camtasia. If you wanted to produce audio only, you would be able to produce this in the format of M4A. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the features of the MP4 smart player that you would actually be customizing. You're going to notice that you can customize the look and feel of your controller. You can choose not to have a controller. You can choose to pause it at the start. And you can auto hide the controls. You can choose the size of your video. So in other words, you can choose the size at which the video will embed, making sure you keep the aspect ratio, and then the video size, which will depend on your editing dimensions. You can make changes to the frame rate and your H.264 profile. You can do the same with your audio settings, changing the bit rate. And you'll get to the option section and the only way that this will be valid is if you have elements in your video that you can actually use some of these features, making it searchable, using captions, quizzes, or even a table of content. And in each one of the cases, and we're going to go back to the beginning, because we can do this same thing with each one of the videos. Each one of the videos has customizable elements. So we're going to go back. We'll look at the AVI. Each one has customizable elements. So in each case, you're going to want to select the production that will actually deliver the content that you actually want to have. Now, the MP4 audio does not necessarily fit most situations where you're going to be using it in a Windows environment or MP3 environment. Now, there is a workaround to that, which we will talk about in another video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.